Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to another amazing episode brought to you by Games Glitches. And in today's episode we're gonna take a look at how to properly fly in a world of Anthem. After reviewing and watching several videos I've noticed that many, well actually none of them, include tips and tricks on how to properly not to overheat your, well, basically javelin. As you can see here, ladies and gentlemen, I am hovering all constantly with a Colossus and my overheating does not seem to go up. This is what one of the things that I have mentioned as other YouTubers have not covered, which is going to be covered in this video. So without any further ado, let's jump into the tips and tricks on how to not overheat your javelin and keep flying pretty much indefinitely throughout the world of Anthem. Let's start quickly with the basic flying. Jump and C will allow you to hover. This is for PC. Jump and Shift will allow you to fly right off the bat. Now, how would you end up managing your cooling system? Let's take a look quickly at that and go through tips and tricks on that. Now, one of the first important things that you need to know in the world of Anthem is that the water is the main cooling source. Yeah, you could say, yeah, glitches, duh. Anybody knows that the water in this game is a cooling source, but it works quite actually differently. For example, ladies and gentlemen, if I would just decide to hover over land, as you could see here, my hovering meter goes up. If I would hover over water, it would actually stop my meter from going up. Meaning that if I'm hovering over water, I can hover pretty much indefinitely. I can shoot, I can block, I can use my special abilities. It doesn't matter because I can pretty much hover as long as I want. You could also hover back and forth over water without actually heating up whatsoever. As you can see here, my meter does not heat up. The moment that you go over any piece of land, let's say this little land nugget right over here, just simply having your jets over it, as you can see here, ladies and gentlemen, you instantly start to heat up. If you go over water, your heating meter changes to blue and you start to actually, well, you stop cooling, uh, heating up, but you don't start cooling down. To start cooling down, you actually have to touch the water. But this is a strategy meant for you to hover because the water is all over this map. It's in every dungeon, it's in every base, it's all over the open world. This is actually created for you to use maneuverable aerial tactics where you could just simply hover and now assault your enemy. Please note that hovering over water indefinitely only works if you're hovering over water on a very short distance. Hovering much higher like I am right now, as you could see, it still causes overheating. So you have to make sure that you're hovering as close as possible to the water, like right here, and therefore you won't overheat whatsoever. Now, flying over water works exactly the same way as hovering over water. When you're flying over water, as you could see here, ladies and gentlemen, it actually cools me off. Therefore, you could fly enormous amounts of distances by going simply flying up, you know, if you want to explore, and then flying down to the water, which will actually start cooling you off rapidly. You don't actually need to land in water by just simply flying next to it. As you can see here, ladies and gentlemen, you will end up cooling off your javelin. And this is Colossus that we're talking about. He is the quickest one that heats up. And if he cools off this quickly, just imagine how quickly the other javelins cool off. Now, to understand flying in this game completely, you have to understand the degrees of flying. What I mean by that is when you're flying upwards, your character will start to rapidly heat up. As you can see there, my engine is currently heating up. But if you begin to fly under a 45 degree angle downwards, as you can see here, ladies and gentlemen, my engines are now being cooled off by the wind. It's actually quite irrelevant if I'm flying over land or water when I'm flying under a 45 degree angle downwards. The system just simply will start cooling me off. As you could see here, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm flying over land while my system is cooling off. This is another tactic that you could use to definitely fly for a very long time. By combining flying, water or flying over water and flying under a 45 degree angle, you can consistently fly for extremely, extremely long time in the world of Anthem. Now, running through all types of water will actually cool off your javelin. It doesn't matter if the pond is actually very shallow or very deep. 
As you can see there on the left hand side where it says cool, that means your javelin is being affected by the cooling of the water. You don't actually need to look for the waterfalls or look for very deep water sources. You could just simply walk in a pond. As you can see here, ladies and gentlemen, my foot is not really even touching the water right there, and I'm already getting a full-blown cool effect. So if I start hovering in this spot, as you could see here, my, I'm constantly being cooled off, and it doesn't give me any heat whatsoever. So the depth of the water is irrelevant. As long as you find a puddle of water, it's good enough to cool off your entire systems. Now, another way of cooling off your system is by flying through the waterfalls. Right here, ladies and gentlemen, as you could see, I am flying through the waterfall indefinitely, where it doesn't seem to even affect my cooling system. If I get out, out of the waterfall and begin to fly, it starts to overheat my systems once again. These waterfalls are all over the map, and what you could do is just fly up to them, click C so you hover, and just hover towards them, and you will instantly get cooled off. You don't really even need to use the water at the bottom. Also, if you're flying through the mist, oopsie, through the mist, that will also end up cooling you off. Well, and obviously swimming, that is also will end up cooling you off. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Remember to smash that like button because the like button apparently is equals to a YouTuber's ego. So hit that button because I apparently need more of that. Thank you all again for watching and please try to have a wonderful day.